guys, Alex Etches from Golf Box. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas break, like I did. May have added a few kilos on. Hence why I didn't jump in, which was, I'm doing you all a favour because it wouldn't have made for pleasant viewing. Um, if I'd have jumped in, I'm sure it would have been edited with, in slow motion with David Attenborough commentating, which would have not, it wouldn't have been ideal, you know, for my confidence for 2017. New year, new me. Taylor made M1, 2017. Do not disappoint me. Sorry. 2015, 2016, amazing. In terms of distance, it was extremely long. The issue was the forgiveness. If you hit it out of the toe of the hill, you'd disappear for days. I'm sure there's golfers out there that have been missing since the middle of 2016, so I'd just like to take a second to remember them. Luckily, I was found. So I'm hoping this is a lot more forgiving, you know. Um, if we can get, maybe jeopardise a little bit of the distance because I don't go that far on holiday. Um, I just like to go to the right destination. I don't want to aim for Bali and end up in Thailand. That's kind of what I'm saying. So here we go. This is it. I'm hoping this is going to do tailor-made justice. Fantastic. I've always loved tailor-made stuff. Um, but I'm going to give this a really good review, I hope. Before I get started, I would just like for you all to see the Talk Pro's reaction to the new M1. Oh, whoa. Mm. Ooh. Woo. There you go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Uh. Sorry, I had to add a. I just felt like I needed to get involved in that. I felt a little bit left out. But they clearly like it. They can't produce words to describe it as that good. So I'm excited to give it a go. Um, it looks amazing, first impressions, we've got a tracking system that's 12.7 millimetres, we've got extended tracking, 27 grams of movable weight. Remember that we've got to be around this middle of the club face vicinity for this really to take effect. If we're toe and heel, gear effect, miss hits take over, there's nothing in any driver technology really that can avoid that legally. So again, we've got the same weight of uh, push forward for a low flight, push back for a high flight. The front weight in the T-Track system, uh, push towards the toe for the fade, heel for the draw. Um, so I'm just going to keep this at neutral for the first couple of shots. Give this a go. I've got the Hazardous Project X shaft. I'll be honest, I know very little about this. All I know is I've given it a few swings and it feels very solid. Um, the engine of the whole driver, so let's hope it's a good one. Oh, I can feel the mince, mince pies flying off of me. Right, let's give this a go. Mm. Slightly out of the tail. Uh, not a bad warm up. Three oh nine carry three two six total distance. So slightly out of the bottom. The first one was out of the toe. That would have been a snap hook with the previous model. I would have, I would have thought. The comparison video will be coming up after this. Three three six carry. feels very solid. I'm going to push the back weight forward so it's low and I push the front weight to the fade because I need help preventing the hook a duck. So before we go into this uh, even more, M1 we're going to have an M2. We've also got the M2 D type which is going to uh, draw bias everything to prevent the slice. Hopefully more reviews coming up I'll do comparisons on the two but this is just mainly focusing on this year's M1. Again, not the greatest of strikes, but it's going straight. This is what I struggled to find with the, uh, the previous M1. So we've got consistency. We get in there. One more of this setting. Oh, 
See, I'd, I'm not sure about that weight on the toe. I think I prefer it in the middle, right behind the sweet spot. That's travelled. 326 carry. Um, to me, I don't feel like I'm going to get the dead bird flight where it, you, it's too low spin, like, like with the previous model. Um, we've got 43% more carbon fibre than last year, which is a lot. It's a big difference. So that's a lot of weight saved for a more precise, efficient um, CG location. So all that weight that's been saved can now be put into a point that's going to make this driver better than last year, which I'm all thumbs up for. Feels very, very, very solid. The last couple I'm going to move the weight back into the middle and see if we can get any more distance out of this thing. That's my setting. Definitely. Take the maid. 345 carry. This has changed from meters to yards, but uh, that is. That's up there with last year's. But yet, yeah, I'm in control of it. Sorry, I had to go and sit down after that one. Six layers of multi-material make it, it feels so solid. Obviously that was a new carbon fibre and the look of it. I'm in love. I um, just want to explain as well about the, um, the actual head is eight and a half, the dynamic loft, and the loft sleeve can be changed two degrees either side of that. If I'd have had this setting on the eight and a half of last year's, I would have been killing moles and I would be going sideways. So the, the forgiving factor is definitely there. Um, I'm going to give this another go. Um, I'm just going to keep hitting this all day, I think. Oh man. I could hit this all day, every day. Go ball! 3-3-8 carry and this is effortless um, obviously everyone watching this is like oh it's hitting it miles I can't relate to that based on the solid feeling come and give this a go you know <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah so what do I think to the new tailor made 2017 M1 driver Ooh. there you go <laughs> amazing perfect that's nice what they said 345 on the carry it is definitely one of the highlights, but it's not just for the distance. It was the effort, it felt effortless, it was very forgiving, I felt in control. We aimed at Bali, we landed in Bali. Usually, it's as previously mentioned, we end up in a different location, so this is a huge thumbs up. Largely down to weight saving, uh, improved CG location, increased NOI more forgiving. So weights at the front, we're still achieving over 2000 RPM, where last year's I would have literally struggled to get over the 1000 uh, RPM mark. So that's all forgiveness and we're still pumping out nearly 350 yards. No bad words to say. Um, maybe I came across like I slated last year's a little bit too much. Some people will go from the old one to the new one and maybe won't see a big difference. Um, some people will. It's going to affect different people in different ways. But thank you very much for watching. If you need any more help, please give us a call on 1800 652 211. Email us at service at golfbox.com.au. Hit subscribe. We're over 1,000 subscribers now, so we're on the up. Thank you very much. And obviously, like us on Facebook. Thank you.